Hello, oh, everyone, and welcome to a very special little bonus episode thing of the Black oh, Tower yes. podcast. Yeah, it's an episode thing. Um, we're super excited. Uh, you've already seen that Dragon Mountain has announced they're doing it, and Dusty Will has announced they're doing it, but we're also blessed with the opportunity to interview the fantastic and lovely Kate Fleetwood, who, of, of course, plays Leandrin from the Wheel of Time TV show. Uh, Leandrin got... Sadai, thank you very much. Uh, I mean, we, not even Leandrin or know, the honorific, so... We do know how questionable it is to invite a red Aja sister to the Black Tower. But um, as far as any kind of spoilers, we'll only be asking stuff for the most part from season one of the TV show. Well, we're only asking about season one of the TV show. I doubt we'll cover anything beyond that. But without further ado, here is the interview. All right, guys. So as we said, we are joined by the absolutely amazing and lovely Kate Fleetwood, (laughs) who, as you all know, plays Leandrin Sedai on the Amazon uh, Prime Video a Wheel of Time series that just came out this past November, and we get to ask her some awesome questions that we've prepared and get some awesome answers because she's that cool. Uh, so, without further ado, go <laughs> thank ahead. Thank you so and... much. Yes, thank you again. We we oh, are. Oh no, over thank the moon. you. No, thank you. I'm thrilled, really thrilled, honored, touched, moved. I am. Yay! Yes, all those things. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Well, Andrew, if you want to go ahead and take it away for the first one, uh, let's get this going. Yep. So in the past, you've played characters like uh, a First Order officer in Star Wars The Force Awakens. You played Mary Cattermole in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1. And obviously, you played Lady Macbeth alongside Sir Patrick Stewart. How do those characters and other characters you played compare to your experience playing <laughs> Leandrin? Um. Uh, well, very different. I mean, the first thing I would say that popped into my head was that when I was playing Mary Catamull in Harry Potter, I was uh, seven months pregnant. So, oh, wow. I, so I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> yay! Yay! <laughs> Definitely not pregnant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sure big, that makes things a little easier, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and actually, uh, actually, if you were to watch the, um, which you can actually watch on Amazon Prime, the film of Macbeth with lovely Patrick, I'm four months pregnant in that with two, so a completely different <laughs> child. <laughs> so yeah, actually playing Leandrin not pregnant is a first. Wait. <laughs> No, they're very, um, well, hopefully you can tell I'm not like any of those characters. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm very, um, I get to play really great characters. uh, And uh, they're um, probably because I'm getting a bit older now, which is a great part of getting older. Um, um, But uh, but they're all very different. They're all, all incredibly different. And I look at them all differently, but then and they but they and they all sit in different parts of me. Uh, I mean, Leandrin, uh, Leandrin's on her own. You know, Lady Macbeth had pa- had Patrick. Yes. <laughs> Lady Macbeth has Patrick Stewart. <laughs> um, she's very much on her own, and I, you know, I look I look at the sort of the, her own backstory uh, from what you when you when you first well, from the first season anyway. You know, you've got a young woman, as she was when she first went to the tower, who left a a poor family, some some a very different background to Moraine. And you know, she could have gone off to be a wilder and gone off on her own trajectory that way, but she wanted to be in the tower. Now that strikes me as somebody who wants to be in the heart of a political debate, and she wants to be. uh, She takes very seriously her responsibility to her ideology. And so, so whether or not she's very far left wing or very far right wing, you know, you up to you. But she really, truly believes in her her political agenda. <clears throat> so I don't see her as a villain that way. And like, I don't see Lady Macbeth as a villain. She's try, trying to love her husband and better themselves. And she didn't know that he's going to take it as far. So she loses her, <laughs> she loses her marbles. But um, 
<laughs> I mean, I don't know about Petty uh, Una- Unamo, Petty Officer on Star Wars, <laughs> what her motivation was. <laughs> exactly. But a little bit more depth those... in some of these roles. <laughs> <laughs> they were just lucky I got the lines out e- 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 right. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but um, so, yeah, they're thrilling to play these characters. And, and I'm very lucky that the writers, um, which we'll talk about later perhaps, but um, <laughs> as, allow me to play, you know, and 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 make the make Leandrin as, as multifaceted as I can, as much as I can. And, and I'm just always searching in the scripts for ways of sort of expressing other things than just the text is on, on, on it, on its, on a first reading because it always it's always right. deeper than that but I'm looking at how can I knit together something that can be as rich as possible and um and we all do that together you know we play that and we, we sort of bounce those ideas and and sometimes that. that's un- and that sometimes that's very unspoken you know it's just um mm. playing playing with the character and not being too fixed when you're performing means that you know, something, a little lightning flash can happen and you can you know, shift something and it becomes a bit more mercurial rather than sort of set in stone. But I, I sort of come to every character I play and go, well, who is this person now? And I, I sort of, I went, I kept swinging from um, AOC to Sarah Palin, you know. So <laughs> I, like I love that! I love that! Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> you know, I'm like, is she, uh, is she, uh, she's, yep. well, whoever she is, she's on the, she's very you know, extreme. She's, yes. Whatever, whatever side it is, you know, she's in that world. And of course, those people truly, truly, truly believe in what they, their ideology. So, yeah. so they are real people who, and like Landon, she's a real person who believes in her ideology. You know, I, I and miss, love but, that. but misfires often. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I absolutely love that because it's like a perfect lead into kind of what I wanted to ask you about, which is, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to assume that you're familiar with Leandrin as a character in the books. Um, and I absolutely love the portrayal, your portrayal of Leandrin in the TV show. Um, and I was just kind of curious, what's your experience in the, how Leandrin has been received as the TV show character contrasted to our feelings with Leandrin as a book character? Well, I, I, if I'm, I try not to, I try not as an actor to get too involved in you okay. know, what people are saying. And only because it can make, <laughs> you know, it can make it can you feel too you self-conscious to do way. well. Well, you know, yeah. it can lead you to some <laughs> awfully dark places. <laughs> when you think, really? Well. Um, but, um, For a fact, I sus- uh, is that Leandrin's not sort of a massive character in the in the books. You know, she's you know she's not like you know <laughs> you know once upon a time Leandrin. Right, right, you know, right. Yes. You know, <laughs> Wait, it's but, not the Leandrin story? Oh it's, man, <laughs> I'm not watching the know, rest of this show. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but the writers of the TV show are trying to make the characters sort of. Um, you know that you can you can honor so many um, mm. of the stories through using certain characters to tell through that perspective. You know, you can jump from one beat to another by using a certain character that's going to jump you into that into that um, theme or or narrative thrust. You need for okay, we need some someone to lift us into this section to get mm. us into episode four or whatever. I mean, there's a there's right. obviously a dram- there's a dramaturgical structure to everything. On, on the TV or on the stage or an opera or whatever, a book. And, you know, and you, you know, characters function for those reasons. And so I, you know, as an actor, you know that they, you know, you're functioning <laughs> in anything right, right. I've ever, ever performed in, you know, you, you know that you have to serve a function, a purpose. So, um, but I hope that the um, fandom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can confirm that your <laughs> portrayal of Leandrin is very widely loved. Yes. Oh. Uh, we we uh, love to hate Leandrin in the aw. books, and you have made it very <laughs> difficult to dislike Leandrin. In <laughs> Takes no. one to know one. Hey, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Indeed. 
<laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. That's difficult yeah. to say. I get embarrassed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I want to, you know, just say, because when we did our watch party, when we hosted the watch party, it was the episode where, you know, Swan uh, was berating Leandrin and Moraine. And um, any negative comments we made were towards Le- Leandrin and not towards you. So. <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> a fun scene to do you know it was such oh, a great yeah. uh it was so muscular you know it, that's i mean i've Chills. spent a lot of time you know it's just we were all it was it was so electrifying and sort of you mm-hmm. know there's so many politics going on and you know it was, it was really charged the whole and it was the first time we'd all performed together in the in the in the tower so it was um <sighs> and all those amazing costumes and a great big rig <sighs> it's beautiful and uh, yeah it took my breath away you know it's just amazing amazing and then you get all these lovely two-hander scenes where you can be a bit more sort of <sighs> deft with stuff and a bit more intricate but uh, yeah they they allow you to play, you know, those big things. Awesome. It's just, it's great. <laughs> I get my That's chops awesome. around them. <laughs> <laughs> well, Excellent. Uh, with, uh, with the fair point that, you know, it, it can be very perilous for, for actors and the talent of shows to pay a ton of attention to a lot of the comments because there are some <laughs> less than savory people <laughs> in the world. Um, Turns out, who knew? I know, yeah, right? <laughs> big surprise. Um, I'm going to alter the next question a little bit. The, the scene where we first see Leandrin speaking to Nynaeve mm. and she asked her name, did the team or anybody explain like how much the fandom is going to enjoy and love the mispronunciation <laughs> of Nynaeve? <laughs> no, but I thought when I did, when I realized that there people really enjoyed that, I, I was really pleased. That was the first scene I shot. Oh, so that was my, yeah. Exciting. That was the very yeah. It was the very first scene I shot, so I was actually really nervous. <laughs> it's like oh god, <laughs> and um, and you you know you get a job, you get a part, and you know quite often you don't meet the you know. I did do a Facetime with lovely Wave uh, afterwards once I'd got it, but I hadn't met the you know so many of the team. So you know, and then you sort of sit on a rock talking, going, I hope, well, I hope this is right. <laughs> I hope this is all right. Um, um, but I but I do I remember saying, you know, and I could have made a choice where I got it where I, I pronounced it correctly. But I yeah. chose to pronounce it badly because I <laughs> because I thought that that would Perfect. even if uh, because I because I thought that if Leandrin even if Leandrin knew that she had to pronounce it. It would be the beginning of her game, a game. Mm -hmm. And I think she's sadistic, you know, she she definitely has a bit of a sort of snidey, sadistic mean girl to her, clearly. Um, And she, you know, she's playing- Oh, so you do know the character. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she's playing, you know, she's setting herself up as the girl at school in that in that instance of saying I I, I uh, you know I can make you feel shit at the same time as being nice to you yeah, and uh love it. so uh, so yes yeah, so Nini is it oh sorry if I pronounced it wrong <laughs> you know I mean I could have yes. said Nini sorry if I pronounced it wrong but I chose to do the annoying one <laughs> yeah. the fandom you absolutely adored it for your choice yeah because oh, <laughs> it's it does this great thing of it encapsulates Leandrin very very well very on brand yeah and it also yeah. gives <laughs> us super book nerds that satisfaction <laughs> from like the audiobooks and from everybody the discussions about no it's pronounced how do you Nineveh. pronounce this it's pronounced this it's pronounced this yeah. yes yep perfect it was awesome yeah yeah oh good well, I'm glad you liked it I'm glad I'm glad it didn't fall on deaf ears <laughs> oh it definitely did not <laughs> uh, so this actually springboards into the next question pretty well uh you said that it, it seemed like they gave you a chance to sort of say it however you felt the character if, would if, say it um, if I recall, if I recall that, I mean, it was such a long time. It was before COVID. So it's like, I know, right? what, oh, God. I, In I the have before a sense. years ago. Yeah, I might be wrong. So I don't, I, I, I can't remember. I do remember having that as a muscle in my mind, which is like, oh, mm. I think I'll fit like that. Um, nice. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a bracket saying she mispronounced <laughs> it. And then I'll, I'll feel terrible when I, when I find that out. But, um, yeah, but no, tell they, you. yeah, <laughs> they, <laughs> 
you know, that was being brilliant about the whole process is that they, you know, and it happens sort of through osmosis, really, is that mm -hmm. it, that it, it's not a sort of, oh, by the way, we're writing for you now. It's like, they, it's, a sort of, <laughs> <laughs> it's a sort of osmosis dialogue between the writers and the actors where they start to sort of, you know, it's like when you're with somebody and you take on their mannerisms, you know, mm -hmm. or, well, I, I, I do yeah. I'm an actor and I'm an annoying actor. Can I do your accent <laughs> with you? <laughs> Same. It's being very difficult you know. to not do yours right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll check, I'll but, check it. But, you know, it's sort of, you grow together in the roles with the writers as well. And then suddenly, you know, it starts to feel like absolutely the right way, the syntax and the, in your mouth it's like yes this is absolutely how she would say that and and then you're always mining the script I'm always sort of like mm -hmm. mining the script for things that I can play with and just you know how can I make that a bit of a richer beat how can I play that and yeah, I can lie in, it's, it's where I get my kicks <laughs> excellent <laughs> sort of, you know? well, as I said speaking of that uh do you remember <laughs> um <laughs> how the Rafe has said in interviews that he wanted to leave the channeling movements mostly up to the actors so that they could go ahead and make it more personal. Uh, yet mm -hmm. in the scene where uh, the sisters all come together and link to go ahead and gentle Loghain, you were all extremely in sync uh, yeah. with, with the same movements. Do you remember uh, at all how much of the you know coordination for that scene was with the actors themselves and how much was with sort of you know Rafe coming in and saying okay we're all going to do it this way or or this that or the other thing no we had a uh, we had um, uh, a a movement director um oh wow Scar scarlet and um and so <laughs> so before we'd even shot anything um we was we were playing with I mean, I sort of did a, a something which sort of came from here originally. Mm -hmm. And we chose that, I chose that mine would sort of come from a sort of fiery steel place. Um, others chose more of an air position where they <laughs> bought theirs from. And then sort of just to make it so it sort of physically sat in your body from a personal place of gravity, as it were. But yeah. um, oh, I sound well actory. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, but like I was saying about the osmosis, like when you're together, then of course you do, you know, it's like playing any kind of drama game together that you're going to start mm -hmm. to mirror one another and then you have a common a common uh, target, then that's going to start, to, the energy is going to do that. But no, we, Rafe definitely doesn't run in, he's party busy. <laughs> he, <doesn't laughs> <go. Can> you, <laughs> he doesn't um run in and say can you not do that with your finger but um, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah we we but we, we I mean I remember the first time I started I did a channeling work we were doing a channeling workshop in a sort oh. of really like like an office but it was like an, a, an, a, an episode of the office but like with four women in it trying to like work out what to do with the channeling <laughs> like, like with you know carpet and sort of like a fan and no no stage at all and I was doing it and I was like oh my god Tarvalon yeah, that I remember vibe. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like thrilled because I'm like a middle-aged mum of two and I'm like middle-aged mum of two channeling <laughs> <laughs> like yes. yeah watch me go <laughs> oh that's amazing I love it <laughs> all right Josh so uh you know, when you get to come in and, and talk to the different people and you get to do all these interviews, usually it's uh, pretty limited to, you know, talking about what what we're asking you. But and, and I know this is a bit of a cop out, but I don't care. I'm going there. <laughs> is there anything that you've like just wanted so badly to share uh, with the fandom that we just haven't asked you about that we haven't got to? I feel really passionate about the um, designers and the makers and the craftspeople and the, compose, the composer and all of those other elements that you don't see as a sort of, you do obviously you see a lot of it and you hear a lot of it, but they don't get the same kind of um, front end sort of appreciation. And, I, and I, I remember the first day I went in to have a fitting and our, um, 
wonderful costume designer, I said, she said, oh, would, would you like to come and have a look at the workshop? And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> uh, and, we, and there was this sort of room with some beautiful fabric in it. I was like, oh, this is amazing. And she went, no, no, this isn't it. And then we went behind <laughs> that room. And if you can imagine an airplane hangar, and in that airplane <laughs> hangar, there are, do you remember, did you do craft design and technology at school where yeah. you like doing, you know, and there are benches sure. and there are, you know, and there's anvils and all sorts of things and things and bunts and burners and things. And, and <laughs> so as far, as far as the eye can see, there are 25 people, all with their own exception, oh. with tables and knives and belts and there's a someone who does That's just so millinery awesome. someone who just makes jewelry someone who does armory someone who's d just printing fabric so i have my on my one of my costumes this um lovely mesh kind of fab uh print on it it's in the white tower you'll see it that is specifically tara Bonner, um oh, i love it and i was like i'm gonna have that in my downstairs loo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have wallpaper like that. <laughs> That's so, so cool. So, uh, so the you know the the level of detail is off the charts, and I just you know from the t you know you might go oh I think she might have a little you know bit of jewelry here just to sort of break that up. Next day you get four. <laughs> and <if> in, <laughs> handmade hand design you know you're like that's one for the stunt double that's one for you that's one in case you lose it that's one just in case and you're like and you're like oh and someone's made I mean, it, it blew blew my mind and it, and it still does to this day and every single department is that wide vast skilled highly talented passionate artisans and I just would always want to give them a shout Thank you Amazing. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, okay. <laughs> this has yeah, been ahead, <laughs> ab absolutely uh, incredible. Um, I, I don't think we've still fully processed that we're <laughs> able to see you talk to you. Uh, thank you so much for agreeing yeah. to, to talk to no. us. Um, thank you. It was, Oh. It's fun, been fun. Thank you. <laughs> Nam Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. <laughs> this was this was amazing. We know you have oh. uh, some other things you have to do. Time is mm -hmm. precious. Um, thank you and, for having yeah. me, and much love to your fans, and thanks for all your support. Oh, of course. And thank and you again. Thank you so much. We look yeah, so much forward to seeing you uh, in the later seasons of the Wheel of mm -hmm. Time, um, and we look so forward to seeing you bring Leandrin even more to life than you already have. And can I just say so much mad respect for the fact that, again, even when you're playing someone who is considered a villain, they don't consider themselves a villain. And that has brought so much depth to the character. So thank you Aww. so much for everything. That thank you. you. Thank, well, thank I'm very so blessed to have good writings as well. That's the thing. <laughs> 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 thank awesome. you. All right. Thank, thank you so much. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. That, that was amazing. Was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, super, super, super thank you and love out to Kate Fleawood once again, because she was just incredibly charming, Last as act. you've just seen. Incredibly amazing. And yeah. I, I absolutely loved seeing her get into the answers really kind of sink her teeth into the answers. And I, I absolutely loved, uh, you know, how animated she was. It, she just fit right in. So just goes to show red sisters should definitely visit the black tower more often. Yeah, okay. it, was, um, it was such a nice experience to working with and, and coordinating with the, the team uh, there. Uh, I'm being broad about the that. name. Cause I don't want to, I'm not going to say the, the person's name that we worked with. Uh, yes. You know who you are and, or who all of you are. Um, and thank you so much Absolutely. for working with us and Absolutely. making this happen. Um, yes, as Kate herself said, it takes way more than just the actors to go ahead and put this on. And you guys made this whole process super smooth. So thank you so much for, for allowing her to come see us you and making eight. the whole process super seamless. Yes. I heard a random good, got good times. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank yeah. you for being here. Thanks everybody for tuning into like a special 
bonus episode. Sorry, Andrew, did I cut you off there? Oh, I mean, I was going the same direction. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I did. I did say I wasn't really going to talk in the outro because I talked all the other times. But well, um, thanks everybody for tuning in on this special super bonus episode of the Black Tower Podcast. Um, I, I'm gonna take an afternoon and recover because I'm I'm very very starstruck right now, and it was absolutely a blast. So uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And you know me, I've been Josh. You're sort of on my hail. And hopefully we were able to uh, either ask some questions or get some answers that the other uh, interviews that, that Kate is doing uh, didn't get or maybe fleshed out some of the answers a little bit more than maybe they got a chance to so that there's something new in this for you. But yeah, thanks for listening and watching. I've been your Bajan Mahal, Andrew. And uh, if there are questions that we didn't ask her that you uh, hope that we ask her next time, if we are blessed with her presence or any of the other actors, please, please let us know. Uh, we'd be happy to go ahead and ask things that the community is interested in of anyone that we get the absolute honor of having on. Uh, so get those questions uh, if you want to do that in the future. And uh, we look forward to seeing those, but again, Thank you for being here. Thank you for see, for joining us for this bonus episode. I have been your Amon Khan Mahal, Daniel. And from all of us here at the Black Tower, we love you. You're amazing. We hope that you're having an actually good morning, because it is. And in case we don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>